Hey guys, Shape Air 1000 here. Today we're going to do a quick review of the perfect egg maker. Stay tuned, let's make some eggs. Okay. Hello guys. Today we got another as seen on TV product and it's the Copper Chef Perfect Egg Maker. Uh, I've seen a few of these on uh, on uh, YouTube, some videos, so I, I, I've been wanting to give it a try. Well, a lot, a lot of guys, guys and gals have done it. So I thought we'd give it a shot and, uh, sometime. And well, we got this pretty cheap today. Uh, we got it. You know, I think it was 15 bucks, 14.99. We got it at Walmart. So let's open this up and see what's in here. Okay, so the box, you know, pretty much it's a box. I don't know if you guys can see that. So, let's open this up. And it looks a lot bigger on the YouTube videos and on the box. So we've got got the book here the owner's manual so that's good all right hopefully they'll have some kind of that's it that's all that's in the box hopefully they'll have some kind of recipe because you know, or I may have to bring up a video myself and watch it uh, what's this let me get my glasses on important notice about your rights read carefully I know my rights Trust me. Um, anyway, so here's the Copper Chef Perfect Egg Maker Owner's Manual. So you got important safeguards, parts and accessories, general operating instructions. That's what we're going to be wanting to do is go to that. And that was on page what? Okay. Right there. There. You got a measuring cup and all that stuff. Um, general operating instructions there. Tells about the eggs. So let me read up on this. For, well, let's go ahead and open this first. I'm gonna open this up. Uh, I eat a lot of eggs. A uh, monkey don't eat as many as I do, but I do eat a lot. So we've got there's the measuring cup thingy. And it looks like it's in millimeter milliliters poached. So this must be making for making poached eggs. Yeah, see that's that little prickly thing there. That is what you poke the egg with, I guess. So there's that. And we've got these two items here. Do -do -do -do. Alright, so we've got got the lid I can make a parabolic dish microphone out of that probably huh nah, I think it's curved in too much but it would still work I've made a couple of them okay we've got this is the side piece we've got our base And poured. All right, so and you can double stack. I mean, put uh, eggs on top of each other like that there. So that's pretty cool. So you can put eggs in here, eggs in there, eggs on top of here. That kind of looks like two little eyes, don't it? And like a little hair thing. All he needs is a nose and a mouth. So. All right, pretty cool. So I'm gonna there's your on and off button and your light. So what I'm gonna do, if you guys can see, all right, it looks dark from where I'm sitting here. Maybe not. Um, let me read up on this and we'll we'll make some eggs, okay? Okay, I'm reading up on this, and right here it's for your hard boiled eggs and uh, seven to fourteen eggs for soft eggs or medium eggs. It is not 
recommended. 7 to 14. 7 to 14. I'm repeating that because right here, right on the other side of the page, that's page 9, this is page 10, for 7 or fewer soft, medium, or hard boiled eggs. Here, it's not recommended 7 eggs for soft or medium, but here, for seven or fewer. What the hell? Stupid. Let's make some hard boiled eggs. Okay guys. First thing we want to do, excuse me, the first thing we want to do is we want to put our water in here with this measuring cup. Now here's another thing. This measuring cup only goes to 70 milliliter for one for seven to fourteen eggs. And in the general operating instructions for 7 to 14 eggs, it says 75 milliliter. And this cup only goes to, I don't know if you can see it, 70 milliliters. Whatever, right? So anyway, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our water. Now I'm going to boil these hard boiled, so... That's what it's saying. It's taken to 7 to 14 eggs. We're going to make 8. So we put this in there. And then we put our bottom rack in there. Now we got to pierce the bottom of each and every one of these eggs. And to do that, we'll use the pokey thing. So we're going to poke the bottom. That's the, you know, the big part. I just called it the bottom. But the big part, we're going to poke it. That's pretty scary. And you want the holes up. So. Let's see. Maybe I should just do six. Because I wanted to put a couple on the top. Because here's my thing. Heat rises, right? Wouldn't you think the bottom ones are going to cook more than the top ones? Because all your heat's going to be down here cooking these eggs, and then it's going to take a minute for the heat to come up here. So heat rises. So I don't know if that's a good thing, if it equals out once it gets up here. You know what I'm saying? The heat, or if it's going to lose its heat by the time it gets up here. Or will these cook more than these? I don't know. But we're going to find out. So I, I, I want to do eight eggs. Okay, let's do... It doesn't really say how you should put them. But... Alright, so we're going to put... We're just going to put them like that. Now we're going to take our extension, they called it. And then we're going to put our other layer on here. That way Monkey can have, she likes to take some eggs with her to work. Okay, so let's put these like here and here. So, she'll have some hard boiled eggs to take work if I don't eat them all. But, oh man, stressful day guys. So I went with her to work today because I had a doctor's appointment. And that turned out to be a bunch of... That was a big hassle, and then I had to go see another doctor, and it was something else. Okay, so we got this stuff in there. That says to put this on. Okay. Alright, we're on. And it says, it says to, to cover, plug in the unit and press the power button. The unit will shut off once complete. But on here, it says 18 to 23 minutes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in now, okay, and, and then I'm going to, I'm going to turn it, the light came on already, it says push the button, okay, and then I'm going to time it, see it ain't even shutting off, I don't know what's going on, but I'm doing what it said, push the button, Yeah, press the power button. 
the unit will shut off once complete. Alright, so I'm going to time this. I mean, is it getting warm? Will I be able to... Maybe you got to hold the button. Oh no, I feel some heat coming up here. Okay, alright, it's getting hot. And I'm going to time it myself. Alexa, set timer for 23 minutes. 23 minutes. And then we'll, now. then we'll see when this shuts off how close the time is. Um, and then we'll make a couple poached eggs and maybe a scrambled egg or two. So let's give this 23 minutes and I'll be back with you. Alexa, stop timer. Okay guys, it's been 23 minutes. This shut off at about 20 minutes, so, you know, uh, uh, let's see here. These off here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark these. Just put a little blue dot on here. Just so I know these are the tops because I want to see if there's any difference in uh, what the insides cooked like. So let's take these out. And I got some cold water over here. Put them in there. So these are supposed to be hard boiled. Oh, another thing also you're supposed to you know, they want you to wash these off, which I already did, uh, before you use it, so. Okay, so now, ugh, I thought it smelled funny. See, it ran out of water. But, okay, so, we're going to let these, we're going to get to these in a minute, but right now, we're going to make a couple poached eggs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this off real good and I'll put it, fill it back up with water. Now on the back of this, see this was the measuring for the, uh, for the eggs, for the hard boiled eggs. And on the back is for your poached eggs and for your scrambled eggs. So we're going to do two poached eggs next. So let me get this cleaned off and then we'll make a couple poached eggs. Okay guys, this actually wasn't wasn't too hard to clean. Um, there's some spots there, but uh, that dark stuff that was on there, I, I just wiped out with a damp sponge because this, none of these, is they're not dishwasher safe. Okay, now on the back of here, you got your poached and your omelet, but it's only got one line, so I guess that's the line that you do for poached or omelet. So we're going to go ahead and I'm doing it just the way they say to and all it says is do the line. So it says poached and omelet and it has a line between them. So I'm guessing that's a line for either one of them. So I'm going to do it the way that it is recommended. That way, you know, if something happens, well then, and for the poached eggs, we're going to put this piece on here and then this piece right here is going to go it looks like it's just going to set in the center and then the dome is going to go like that so it doesn't really say too much but it does say to spray this lightly with oil well we're going to, I've got some spray here and it's butter flavored so, butter and eggs, right? So, I'm just going to give it a light, just a light spray is all it says to do. Alright. All right, so, we're going to set this up there. Add water. We did that lightly. Spray, then add one or two eggs to the tray. Add seasoning if desired. Okay, so we're going to put an egg in there. Let me see, where can I do this where it's not going to... Uh, all right, there we go. So we're going to put one egg in here. And 
and one egg in here. Now, there's no way to set this timer, so I don't know how it knows, but, you know, It's like, you know, for your soft and medium eggs, it says the same thing that you plug the unit, plug in the unit and press the power button. The unit will shut off once complete, the same way up here. How does it know? I mean, I don't understand because if it hard boiled eggs at 23 minutes, or tw we'll say 20, according to the machine itself, it only stands to reason that it's going to try to cook your soft or medium. Shouldn't you cook those at less time? How does it know when to shut off? I don't understand that. And it doesn't say. But anyway, it just says here, okay, now we're, let's make sure we're in the center. So make sure it's as close as we can get to the center. All right. It doesn't say that, but I'm guessing that's what you should do. All right. Just like that. Now, and then it just says to cover, plug unit in, press the power button. Okay. Um, so we're not going to need we're not going to need this piece. So we're going to cover it. I guess just like that. That's what the picture's showing. Right there. So and turn it on now it's on so let's come back to this and we'll see what it looks like as it's cooking okay guys while our other two eggs are poaching this this side here the one on the right is uh, this is the uh, the ones the eggs that were on the top so let's cut into this see what it looks like feels good oh beautiful nice nice now let's see if the ones on the bottom cooked any more any less or the same and the ones on the bottom did cook looks like a little less but nothing to split hairs over um, so the ones on top cooked a tiny bit more, but you really can't tell. So that's that's good. So those turned out pretty good there. Now our poached eggs, I'm waiting on the light to go off. And once the light goes off, and it just did. All right, we timed that right. I should have had the timer going, but okay, so let's bring this over here. Can you guys see okay? Alright. Careful, don't get steam burnt. And those, uh, they're poached. I mean, yeah, so far it's... Here we go, guys. Egg under glass. Well, plastic that looks like glass. Okay, so this does, um, they are poached. Let's see if I can do this without burning myself too bad. Show them to you. They are, uh, to me, you know, I'm not a poached egg expert, but, um, yeah, they are, they are poached eggs. All right. Let's make some scrambled eggs. Okay, guys. Now, I don't know how long, like I said, these post poached eggs were in there, but I guarantee you they were not... They were not in there 23 minutes, so how that thing knew how to when to shut off, I don't know. Um, but now we're gonna make scrambled eggs, and it says, you know, we're gonna use this one. Same setup as the poached egg, only we're gonna use this one. Um, one or two eggs. I I mixed up two eggs with some pepper and a little bit of seasoning salt and we're going to go ahead and fill this up to that line which that line looks to be 
Oh, because that bottom comes off, so it's pretty close to half full. So, and cleanup is a breeze. So so far, I'm liking it. And then it says to spray this, so we're going to spray this lightly. Spray, all right. And we're going to put one of these on there again. We're going to put this, let's try to get it centered again. I, mean, I don't know if it matters, but I'm guessing, you know, I mean, it don't take rocket scientists to... See, it should have an indentation on it for those things to, like, sit dead center, because that's always the best. So let's dump these in here. Okay, there's two eggs in there. These will be our scrambled eggs. I hope Monkey's hungry again. Um, it says cover, plug unit in, power, I've got it plugged in. The unit will shut off once complete. So I don't know how it knows. But apparently it does. So let's put our lid on here. And this time, I'm going to time it. Okay, so let's turn it on. And I'm going to time it with the kitchen timer. Okay, guys. Here's how the poached eggs turned out. I know for some of you they may be a little done, but uh, they did come out pretty easy. Um, they may be a little done for some people, but you know, to me that looks looks pretty good. Um, so this was five minutes, twenty nine seconds, point seventy one. So five and a half minutes ish. So, is what it took to scramble these eggs. Alright, so let's check them out. Okay. Alright. Now, let's get our plate over here. Came right out. Not an issue. Um, I know what you're going to say, well, it's not really scrambled. Well, scramble them, you know. Scramble your eggs. But, yeah, I mean, I, I'm good with it. I'm really good with this thing. I really like it. As far as for the scrambled eggs and poached eggs, you, you might as well say one serving unless you only have one egg. So, like for monkey in the mornings, while she's getting ready for work, if she wants to put a couple scrambled eggs in there, she can have a quick breakfast or a couple poached eggs, whatnot. And I like the fact that you can hard boil 14 eggs in here at once. I like that. I know what you're going to say. Well, you can do that in a pan of water too. But now think about this. Now, I'm. <laughs> Like I said, I've said it a hundred times, I'll say it a hundred and one. I'm not a rocket scientist, but I do know a little bit about stuff. And what I'm guessing is I don't think this is going to use as much electricity as that burner on that stove over there with a big pan of water. Because you got to use the big burner. This, you're not using a big burner. Because if you use the little burner, I know what you're going to say, well, use the little burner. Well, then you're going to leave it on there longer. So it's going to equal out. And I don't think this is going to use as much energy to cook, to hard boil 14 eggs as that stove. And I, I've been thinking about this, for those of you that have been following me for a while, um, you know, things, things bug me. i got to figure something out. That's just the way I am. That's the way I've always been. That's the way I will be until the day I die. And I enjoy it. Now, I didn't Google this or anything, but this is just what I surmise is my guess. I'm just guessing here, but this thing has no knock, right? We was talking about that. How does it know when to cook less, less time? Well, what I'm thinking, which a lot of you guys probably already figured this out, but what I'm thinking is, if you've got this in here, and then you've got the top on it, okay, you've got all this space, right? Now, apparently, there's a thermostat in here, correct? So it knows when to shut off. 
So my guess is that it's not technically reading the temperature of the uh, the uh, the hot plate itself, the bottom part per se. Now remember, you're going to have more water, so it's going to take longer to heat that water up and get it up to temperature, and to get this up to temperature than it is if you just have this on there you know with one of these in there so you got less water so it's going to heat up a little quicker you've got less room to heat up so it's going to heat up quicker so it's going to get up to that temperature faster so it's going to shut off quicker if that makes any sense what I'm trying to say here but I think you do that's how I think that thing shuts off is because more water more space takes longer to get up to that temperature it's a preset Whatever the temperature that this is inside here, I don't know. I'm not getting into all that. But whatever it is, that's what it's set on. And for it to get up to that temperature with all that other stuff on there, it's going to take longer. It's going to take longer with more water. Less water, less room to heat up. It's going to get to that temperature faster. I think that's how it knows. So it didn't trick me on that one. So I'm going to take this into Monkey. And I'll be back with you with my final thoughts on this thing. Okay guys, my final thoughts on the Copper Chef as seen on TV, perfect egg maker. I've seen mixed reviews on this thing as well. To some people, it's not feasible. You know, they're used to cooking, frying eight or nine eggs, uh, you know, three or four people, you know, a couple adults and a couple kids. For the poached eggs and scrambled eggs, it wouldn't be feasible for that. No, I understand that. But overall, I'm giving this thing a two thumbs up for now. I will use it, and I will let you know how durable it is. Do not put it in the dishwasher. It is not dishwasher safe. Um, so, for this review so far, it is two thumbs up. Now, I don't know... If I have mentioned this about this, okay? Remember this? I did a review on this. I may have mentioned it to you, but we use this thing probably. It's got that little piece broke off of it. Well, it still latches, but there's like a little, should have been a little, another little, you know, where kind of comes out a little bit more so just the tip of that's kind of broke off a little bit that's not this thing's fault it actually fell onto the tile floor and uh, it's a good thing it didn't hit monkey's foot she dropped it but as you can see that little piece of plastic is the only thing that broke and it still latches tight see still latches tight it still works it didn't do anything, it didn't crack the floor, it's not out of shape, and we use this thing at least four times a week. This was a great investment. If you guys can get one, get it. I mean, it's great. I'll do a video, I've been wanting to do a video. I've been making grilled cheeses in this thing. You can make hamburgers in this thing. It's awesome. So this is still getting a two thumbs up for me, as well as so far, the copper chef perfect egg maker so that's my review I hope you enjoyed it and yesterday I think I said Wednesday in my video and I think today's Wednesday so I apologize for that and uh, so hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week be safe uh, always be safe and um, I'm going to sign off for now, so I'll get back in a couple weeks with you on this and let you know how it's doing, how how much we use it, and, uh, you know, things like that. And, um, so, listen guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Uh, Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend, I'm gone for now. Bye-bye guys, take care.